Gadele de Kadoita remained faithful to her love for Jesus. Her greatest wish was to know and to do what pleased God. We are at the St. John Paul II Shrine in Washington, D.C., and I want to thank the Knights for the opportunity to celebrate the 10th anniversary Mass of the canonization of St. Kateri Tekakwitha. We have Lakota, we have Dakota, we have Navajo, Diné, Hopi, Laguna, Oglala, Ojibwe, Mohawk. We have all these different peoples from all over the country that have come together for this celebration. I was present at her canonization in Rome with all of the Native Americans from all over the United States, and this is just making me feel that same joy that we all experienced when we were present for that canonization. It's significant in the sense that we now have a saint among us who's uh, Native, and I think it's a great encouragement for us. She is one of us. She looks like us, I and mean, she's a model for us. You know, in a time where it was, it was difficult being Catholic, she chose to be Catholic. She chose to be a, a, a follower of Christ. The Knights of Columbus have really taken their time to know more about us as a, as a people. Knights are always there for us. The Knights of Columbus initiated the Native American Solidarity Initiative in 2019 and my office, the Bureau of Catholic Indian Missions, is a partner with them, and so we have undertaken various uh, activities to reach out to Native American Catholics and Native Americans as well. We must live as brothers and sisters together if we're gonna reach reconciliation, if we're gonna have healing, and just because that's what Christ has called us to do. The Knights of Columbus have, for over 100 years, had a, a mission of solidarity with their native brothers and sisters, and it will continue, I'm sure, for many, many decades to come.